Hi everyone, it's Dina here and all the doggies and today we're gonna out on a training run as we usually do every day but today we're gonna do it a bit different we're gonna stay outside and camp with the dogs so I'm gonna bring 10 of the dogs or 11 with Johnny who is waiting here already by the quad yeah we're gonna camp instead of just going out and home again and right now I'm packing the quad with all the stuff and I really hate packing but soon I'm ready so then after that we're gonna hook up the dogs and go out come on <laughs> We don't have collars on them during summer. We put them on first when we start to do the overnight tours in December, but now they need to have them when they're gonna sleep out tonight. Yeah. Oh, hey, Johnny! 
Hi. Now we have a little water break for the dogs to drink water. And I'm also going to get some water for us that we have for tonight. Uh, because I plan to stop where we don't have any water. So I have a water jug in here and we're gonna fill it up. up on the top so good doggies yeah and here they are yes. so, so now I'm gonna find a spot somewhere up here here to put up the tent and I'm also gonna Get the dogs on chains so they don't shoe off the harness and stuff tonight. The dogs are attached to where they're gonna sleep and now I'm gonna find a place for me to sleep and yeah not so easy to find a flat spot here but I think I'm gonna get it So now the tent is up, the dogs are in place and they got some water so now we're gonna give them some food and they gotta get some uh, sausage, so miso, meat sausage, it's easy and simple to have just out but I need to cut them in pieces. Eating very quick. Oh. And Kiwi, Kiwi, you're almost done. Wow, so fast, the Kiwi. Mm. Mm. This is Flo, and he's losing his the last of his summer coat now and so when you cuddle with him you get hair everywhere mm. he's such a big sweet boy yeah hello Flo Flo mm. got a new little stove uh, so I'm gonna try this for the first time. Let's see 
how it works. Never had a firebox before, so it would be interesting to see. Potato salad, some mustard, and the sausage. Mm. So hungry and it's quite cold. The wind is cold. So I don't think I will be sitting out here for a very long time tonight. Oh eat something and then cuddle down in the sleeping bag. And the dogs has come to rest. Cuddled up in the Moss and Johnny has got his jacket on, so he's satisfied. He's gonna sleep in the tent with me. So it's really windy. The dogs, the dogs have it really good here. She's the one who's whining all the time. No. Oh, so lucky. Yeah, now we're gonna sleep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh -huh. And back, back here behind, here's a yeah, it's Kiwi and Claus' mother. Johnny. <sighs> so much warmer just to come in here out of the wind. Oh, see. Yeah, so nice. I think we're gonna sleep good here. Good night. Been sleeping quite good. It's been very windy tonight, but uh, it's been good. And the dogs have been so quiet and nice. And also Klaus, who had his first night outside, he's been so quiet, and it's like he's been doing this so many times before. It's been no problem at all. Nice. TV trying to get my attention. Yeah, got some water and see if we have some food left for them for breakfast.
This is Kiwi. <laughs> Kiwi is a very energetic dog. She's two years old. She was born in uh, 2020 in the summer. Yeah. And very hard working in the team. Still young. I have tried her a little bit in, in the lead. And that works fine sometimes. But like yesterday when we drove here, we stopped so many times because I was setting up the camera, etc. And then she got a bit unsecure. So I moved her back. Uh, Kiwis always want to have all the attention and it's very promising dog. She's always want to be close and playing around with everybody in the kennel. Sometimes she can play a bit rough, uh, especially before, but now she's, you can see that she's growing and getting more and more adult. So she's not playing that rough anymore as she did before. Uh, so yeah, we have big hopes for Kiwi. Kiwi, here. Yeah. That's one really good thing with uh, going out and camp with the dogs, is that you bond so much better than you do in the kennel, I think. To go out in a different environment and and stay overnight and yeah just be around them and hang with them and especially like we have so many dogs so to take out just a few like this and they all get a little bit more extra time just with you that's great yeah So, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the environment where we're in. Couldn't see it last night when we were coming up in the dark. So, this is an old uh, ski hill, downhill ski hill that's been not in use for really, really, really long time. So, but now we're on the top. And it looks like this. The Yoni you have seen in so many movies from the summer and yeah. He's my house dog. We have Yoni and Annie, his sister, and they are border collies. Always running loose with the teams and sleeping in the tents and living in the house. Right, Yoni? Yeah. Hey, Yoni. Hey, Yoni. Walk ahead, Yoni. Shall we go home? Yeah. Yeah. Now I need to put on my rain clothes, or rain pants and change boots. In the camp I have had uh, my Wobby boots that I really like very much and uh, but they are too low to have when I drive through the water holes with the quad when we're going back so I'm gonna put on other ones that I don't like they are so heavy so now we're ready and start exciting start. Uh, this time I only had 10 dogs so it went fine but we've also been running down there with 14 and it's quite scary. So yeah now we're going home and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumb up if you like and check out our other dog sledding videos from winter time and we also have uh, 
videos from the kennel both in summer and uh, autumn so check them out and yeah now we're going home bye take care